I you got a heavy foot. <laughs> you really get after it behind the wheel, don't you? I really do. Am I making you nervous? Not at all. Grace and Joe, they are your biggest fans. Yeah. My daughter, Olive, she's 11, going on 19. She told me in bed the other night that she wanted to start driving motorcycles. I'm really asking for myself because my kids are going to want to get into all sorts of like fun things like riding motorcycles and feeling that freedom that I felt. And I want that for them, but I'm scared as, as their mom. My mom still gets probably as nervous as she did 20 years ago. You'll learn to accept that it's what your kid loves doing more than anything else and that will give you enough kind of, I guess, happiness. She's willing to put her fears in the back seat, you and, and your happiness in the front yes, seat. Yes, you articulated that beautifully. Is it true that when you had a crash recently that you had a split second moment and you had to decide whether to hit him or the wall? See. Is that how it went down? Yeah, I immediately saw where he was on the track and I was like, okay, I'm either gonna go into him at like a T-bone, which is not nice, or I can just try and safely crash into the wall. Your split yeah. second decision making means that there is care and concern for other human life first. That's what? from Joe and Grace. I grew up in a very like caring, affectionate household. Family time is really important. Well, what about you? Are, do you want to have a family? Yeah, I would like to. Why I hesitate with answering it a little bit is my job. I travel so much that I, I would want to be there. I guess like I don't want to miss things growing up. I feel like once my life settles, if it ever does, that would be a more appropriate time. A red light confession. <laughs> Go in the glove box and yeah. pull out a card and ask yourself a question. What's the craziest thing you have ever done in a car? Hmm. Oh no, I, there's things that I don't want to say. Um, oh, well, those are the best ones. <laughs> you just, you get up to mischief as a kid and you might like throw things out windows. I did that once. I littered once out of a car and it was the one and only time I've ever done it. Oh, this is maybe worse than literally. It was? <laughs> no. You just, <laughs> no, let's just, um, anyway. Wait, <laughs> It's what? another red light. Next question. <laughs> Have you ever been naked in a car? Yeah. Me too. Yeah. I <laughs> may have got a knock on a window once. Were you changing or were you alone? Were you with somebody? Uh, I was changing. Definitely changing. Wink, wink. <laughs> Alrighty. Um, be honest. You obey the speed limit. <laughs> Definitely more than you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm excited for you to get on that racetrack. And that reminds me, the bags have flown everywhere. Oh. <laughs> Are you going to do what I think you're going to do? Why is this your tradition? I ask myself this question all the time. So a bunch of Aussies were, I won't, there you go. That, well, that's quite a lot. Just push that down. And this is really great. Is this your first ever shoey? It's called a shoey. Yeah. Oh no, it's so cute. I love it. <laughs> a bunch of my Aussie mates were doing it. And then I was like, I need to do something in F1 that just makes it feel a little more relaxed. Uh, I just thought a shoey would just kind of lighten the mood. Cheers to your race. Cheers. Cheers to Grace and Joe for bringing up such a beautiful and thoughtful person. Bring it in. Thank you. <laughs>